Good morning, Living Hope. Pastor Kevin here. Making a video in the car. As you can tell, I'm driving. Paying attention to the road, so I won't be looking at you too much. But I just wanted to give you a midweek pick-me-up. I know we, we preach on Sunday, and we hear the message, we get all pumped up. And by about Wednesday, we feel a little bit overworked by our job and overwhelmed by life circumstances. But I wanted to give you some, some encouragement today. I, uh, I was reading in the Samuel today. I've been going through the Bible cover to cover. And we're in Samuel. And there was a time uh, when David had, had uh, come back to be king. And he wanted to honor Saul's family line. And so he asked who, uh, who was left out of the family of Saul. And it ended up being this guy named Mephibosheth. And he was lame and his legs were bad. And he, he needed to be cared for constantly. And so David called for Mephibosheth to come and, and uh, basically made him a son of the king. Gave him a seat at the table. Every meal the king ate, Mephibosheth was at the table gave him land as his grandfather's land and, uh, was, and gave him servants and, and, and all this stuff to honor those that this King Saul, the anointed one and it was interesting to me because Saul chased David through the wilderness, through the deserts trying to kill him David was anointed king Saul was still king Saul was tormented and and David was the target. And so even though this King Saul was after David, he still remembered to honor that family because Saul was anointed king. So I, I just pulled on my heart to think about how, how should we honor those that, uh, those that may have been our enemy, uh, those that may have been our, our friends or family how do we honor those and just I want you to think about that today is how do you honor your elders how do you honor the ones that are that are advanced in age and are trying to continue their walk but know they're they're closer to heaven than they are further away at this point I just want you guys to really pray that we have respect for our elders. We have respect for our past uh, leaders. Uh, whether they were good or bad, God had appointed them over us. Uh, God had taken care of us during that time, whether it was good or bad. And we just need to continue to honor those that are that are that were blazing the trail before us, and not forget to do that. A lot of churches will go in. A lot of young pastors will go in and, and, and completely change everything, completely destroy all the all the wonderful things that the church has been doing, and, and, and it messes people up. And a lot of the, the older crowd will will uh, be dismayed, and they will leave. And, and that's just just seems counterproductive to the work of the gospel and all the all the traditions and things. We may think that they're just traditions of men and they're just rituals and things that we think are uh, holding on to our salvation, but really some of those things aren't that, and they are just traditions that are honored because the people like doing them, and the people take care of them. So, I don't know where I'm headed with this. I just feel like, just as David honored the family of the one who was trying to kill him, how much more so can we honor the families of those that are uh, blazing the trail and, and, and coming to their reception at the kingdom's table uh, where they get to have a seat as a son or as a daughter of, of God uh, every day, every time the king feasts, every time the feast is on, these that are going before us get to go to that feast and spend the rest of eternity in heaven and it's just that blows my mind I cannot wait for that day I cannot wait so honor your father and mother honor those that are above you honor those that are older than you 
continue to show respect. We need to do that. So, I love you guys. Living Hope. You guys are fantastic. You are fantastic. I really do. And I am really honored to be your pastor. And honored to be part of your lives. And I know that one day uh, we will all see Jesus. And a day, what a day, what a glorious day that will be. Have a great day. I hope this helped encourage you a little bit. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Ready to rock and roll for Jesus.